This was our last truly remote campsite. From here we planned to go to Lake Ballard, along the gravel to Sandstone, and then on to Mount Magnet, where we would join the central and upper Great Southern branch of the Vintage Car Club for a couple of days. We didn't have to meet join up with them for a few days, so we wandered slowly through the old stations to the main highway. Never learned how to crawl, but I learned how to walk, and I told myself how to run. Been moving so fast, now running the past, can only do that for so long. But I still got the fire, I'm a midnight flyer, with this one thing that I know. the highway we got the weather forecast, which was for heavy rains in the Lake Ballard region, meaning that the roads would inevitably close either before we got there or while we were on them. So we abandoned the Lake Ballard trip and had to fast come up with a new plan. It seems like this trip has been all about changing plans at the last minute. Instead we drove to the old Agnew Road from Leonora and camped near the site of a long disappeared hotel. The bad weather made for an amazing, constantly changing skyscape. With rain still threatening, we continued to the old Agnew town site. With the area taken over with active mines, the old mining equipment had been moved and set up in an awesome display alongside the road. Well worth stopping to have a look through. I got no roots in the delta. I got muscle souls. Left my spirit in the Midwest. Cleveland, Ohio. Rushing out to California. From Agnew we travelled to Sandstone where we camped the next two nights at the caravan park. It was very windy and kept trying to rain. It wasn't very pleasant. We did manage to check out the old brewery, London Bridge and the State Battery.
The rain and wind cleared just in time for us to meet up with the car club in Mount Magnet. We spent the next couple of days with them on a private property. We're sorry, but we cannot share footage or mini photographs from this site with you as we respect the owner's privacy. If they open for tourism, we will let you know. Our next instalment will track our journey back towards home through the wheat belt. <laughs>